Okay. All right, boy. What's up? What's up? This is the first day I'm using the new GoPro. So, footage is weird or it looks different. That's why it's a GoPro 7 Black. And yeah, so anyways, we're, well, um, you guys aren't doing nothing besides watching, being lazy, watching videos on YouTube, probably at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Drop a log down below if you're out at night, watching TV, binge watching, shooting stupid videos, and you got looped in here. What am I talking about? Anyways, it's like 95, let's see. It is, it is 92 degrees out. I'm telling you it's hotter than that because I'm not dying. Anyways, um, this saw has not been washed in like a week, two weeks probably. And it needs to be washed like bad because my bearings are gonna start getting, I don't know, it needs to be washed, it hasn't been washed. So, oh, this GoPro looks sweet guys, I'm so excited. Um, so we need to wash it. And what better to do to wash Concrete slur and concrete buildup and dust and grime with Not a normal power washer Not a normal 4200 psi very nice power washer But a heated power washer um, That gets like 225 degrees and melts grease off Melts sludge oil everything these things are beast um, Now we've had this for a couple months more like a eh, six seven months it looks nasty because it's grease is literally all of us from cleaning clean machines and whatnot. But let's roll this out and let's show you guys. Let's talk about it. I don't know how to use a stupid GoPro. Ugh. Should have got a head mount, but I didn't do it. But we're going to explain this real quick. Why am I doing this with one hand? This thing is like 200 pounds. So, I'm going to explain what these are, why you would want one, and why you should buy one if you're in the construction industry, or you got equipment, or a farm, or just stuff you want to clean. If you have a normal residential stuff, or you just power washing your trucks and, and whatnot, just get in, yourself a nice power washer like that. One of these suckers, though, is for uh, a little more than that, and a little more expensive than that, too. But So, anyways, the 220 watt... 220 volt, sorry. Um, cord thing. Is the GoPro on? I can't see. It is on, sorry. Um, 220 volt. That means your ass is going to die if you get shocked by this thing. So be careful when you're plugging in because you have water and power. 220 volts is not something you want to mess around with. So um, I'm going to wire that up. Anyways, so you got the 220 volt there. They do run on diesel or kerosene. I just put diesel in here just because it's convenient for me. Off-road diesel works fine. You no, know, whatever. Um, anyways, how these work is there's a coil inside of there that the diesel will ignite, burnt through the coil, coil heats up really, really hot, throws a flame out of here, heats your water up, and your water comes out out of the, the nozzle and sprays steaming, boiling water, melting grease off and dirt and everything. You'll see in a second how good it works. So um let's get everything set up and i'll demonstrate this thing so this is actually i don't know if it's a tip or something but it's just something i found out about these these uh power washers this is a north star by the way um i found out that the coils tend to get soot or something built up in it so basically every time i use it i'll just i'll run the water through it What the fuck? Seriously? Why can nothing ever just go smooth for me? How did that even happen? Oh my gosh. What the fuck?
So now, crank that water on, get this freaking water thing to go up off the ground. So you see, so it's sitting there. Yeah, I usually just run it till it gets till it gets clear. See that? Tell we want it right there. Yep. All right. Now, let me come over here. I guess we can start warming her up. Let me put this on here real quick. Hold on. So now, what's next is, come over here. Main power, on, heat, on. And then temperature control, 250 degrees. Now, every time I do this, usually sometimes, I gotta turn this breaker on over here. Yeah, there it goes. Fires right up. So you can see, now when I hit the, when I give it some power, when I give it some gas over here, pay attention to this. Yeah, you can feel the heat come out of this thing, it's crazy. So, for example, this is concrete slur, right? On the wheels, through the wheels. It melts it off. So today we have my 2019 Husqvarna FS7000D diesel concrete saw with the Duets engine in there, turbo diesel, everything you want in the saw, advanced tracking, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we're gonna make her turn from this to this. Get this going. So I'm gonna explain what I'm doing here. I'm going into it with the power washer over here. You see how dirty this saw is. Just get a good rough idea of how nasty it is. Got underneath it. Nasty, dude. Look at this crap. Just build up everywhere, right? This is all grease. This heated power washer will peel this grease strictly right off. It's already doing it because it's already 200 degrees. But let's get into it. So we've got the power washer set to 250 degrees. Now, let's get an overhaul on what this thing looks like. Look at the bearings in there, nasty. This is all concrete built up. See that? See that? It's no bueno. No bueno. Get yourself a good idea what this looks like now and why you need a heated power washer. So, it's a. Uh, I, I didn't really bring a head, a head mount one, so it's gonna be kind of hard to record, but just check this out. Okay, so even even with the heat 
this concrete buildup is so on here, you can see, um, it doesn't like to come off, right? So you gotta imagine without the heat this thing is pushing through, this stuff doesn't melt. This this is like concrete, literally it's concrete that's drying up on the saw. So like, let me give an example somewhere. Right here, ready? See this buildup? I don't want to come off, right? This is hard, I'm doing this with one hand, it's a power washer. Kind of want to hit it Good. all over the place. So, um, I'm burning my leg for you guys, but check this out, ready? So you gotta, you gotta imagine, even with the heat, it's taking some force to take this off. Without heat is a big deal. Check out this grease right here, ready? This is all that, all that dark spot is grease. Check this out, it melts the grease away. Telling you boys, you need one of these suckers. I'm telling you. All right, I'm gonna get going on this thing. So, So you can see the big difference this thing makes right away. The best thing about this power washer is the longer you use it, the hotter it gets, and it just starts peeling shit off. Like, like this is kind of like hot to touch almost. Um, I mean, it really, it, it gets boiling and it pisses out pressurized steaming water. I don't know what more you can ask for something that cleans your stuff, but that'd be it for me. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty much just a demo of what that would do. Um, I don't really, See how much more I can explain. It just, like you saw as we earlier, I barely even touched it. Look at all this grease. It's all gone off it. I touched it for two seconds. I mean, just disintegrates. Um, I'm thinking, it's mainly made for machines. Now, it's not made for take concrete slur off, but it works very well to take off concrete slur. So you have concrete tools, bull floats, whatever they're dirty at the end of the year, or you want to clean them periodically. Great, great move. You can get them pretty cheap too. They're not too expensive, but. All right, so you can see here, I only freaking wash it for two seconds. Um, and this thing is looking like I need to wash it by hand with some soap, which I might, might not. We're gonna find out in a minute. But I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna get this, this really, really thoroughly done. And then I'm gonna show you a little secret that you gotta do next. So I'm not gonna record me finishing this up because it's just, you know, what do you, what do you gotta see? So I will show you guys um, what I'm gonna do next after I'm done. Do the rough clean. Now, this is one of the most very important parts. You can see I roughly cleaned it off. It looks completely different, right? Um, that is thanks to, once again, heated power washer, cleans the shit out of these things. Man, I forgot how good the saw looked. <laughs> um, so, this is one of the biggest things back here. Um, you saw how nasty this was earlier. Well, this, if you don't clean this or do this part of your saw, you will overheat your saw. And you can see how nasty mine is right now. So, let's take this out of here. You gotta wash this one by hand inside. Um, or I, you don't have to, but I tend to do that. So I'm actually gonna show you guys something pretty cool. Um, this is the biggest thing if you have a saw or, oh yeah, that has to be hand wash, look at that. That's because I didn't put the oil on it. Um, if you got a saw or you're renting one, just like this, and they have these little tabs, basically all you need is a screwdriver, turn counterclockwise. So on this side. Counterclockwise. Ooh, spurped. Sound like my Uncle Jack and counterclockwise. <laughs> um, this panel comes off. And now you've accessed the front belt. So this is gonna be pretty cool, I feel like, for you. People that don't look at this a lot. You can kind of see the mechanics of this house works and whatnot. Uh-oh. Belts are shaving a little bit, that's not good. Um, you got four belts in the front to pull the axle shaft. I clean this, check your fluids, check everything down here, make sure the thing looks up to par or whatnot. Um, now we're gonna do that all the way around the saw. So we're taking this off as well. There you go. You can kinda of see the mechanics of it now. It's pretty cool. 
Cindy on this side. Sorry for the noise in the background, but we're uh, we're real over here. We're not staging something for YouTube. It's just figuring I take you guys along what I'm doing. If you want to be a part of it, you can't have not. Oh well, you can't uh, be unefficient for YouTube. That's not how I'm rolling my life. And it's a good thing to clean the back of these panels up too when you're done. Uh, so now, what you want to do? If you want to get in the saw? Be very careful for the wiring and what on this saw actually carries fiber optics. So if you mess up one of those lines, it's going to cost you a whole whole new wiring uh, system because you can't splice fiber optic in these saws. So, oh shit, it's telling me to hurry up. I think I got to hurry up. It's going to start raining. Sucker. All right, let's give it let's clean this thing. And then what I like to do now is I like to actually. Oh, jeez. I like to actually bring up the saw all the way and get underneath it um, to clean all this out. I'm gonna do that next. You can see this is the biggest, this is the biggest and most important part of cleaning your saw is down here. Um, this is where your bearings are located and uh, this needs to stay clean. So, all right, I'm gonna clean that up. I'm not gonna record because I'm gonna destroy my camera doing that. So I'll catch up to you in a little bit. So I wasn't kidding, it started pouring rain. It's been like 30 minutes after. But yeah, it rained a shit ton. And now, get this thing back together, put the uh, panels on it. I'm gonna wash some of the engine off to grease it, whatnot. Um, yep, that's all I'm doing right now. And then, I got this sheet back in there. I'm gonna give it another overhaul. So here's how the saw looks after. Well, 80%, I kinda, that's, that'll go away. But here's how the rest of the saw looks. Pretty damn clean. Okay, so, geez, how much I fell asleep walking around. To be honest with you, I kind of forgot where I left off with the saw cutting cleaning video. Uh, I made like two different videos today, just trying to get going with the videos. It's hard for me to make videos, you know, different days because the work. Anyways, I don't know. I just cleaned the uh, 550. It was disgusting. Still is disgusting, but it's like 7:30. And it's, it's been a long day, man. It's been hundred, it was like almost hundred degrees all day today. I've been working all day. I just want to go home. I had like a 40 minute drive home and I'm just ready to go. So it can be cleaned better later. I don't really care right now. Um, I don't even, you know, I don't know. So anyways, thanks for, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. I hate when we talk. If you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe, comment, like the video. If you don't talk the shit you want, I don't really care doing this because no one's doing YouTube so um I don't know let me know what you guys think of the GoPro footage I think I kind of like it but I can't I don't know it's easier for me this is a small ass camera you know and I can get wide shots like I'm touching the lens right now that's touching that's crazy anyways I don't know boys peace out thanks for watching